Hello guys, there's one thing everyone is talking about these days and this is ChatGPT. And in this video, let's quickly try what it would generate as Laravel code. Would it be accurate or what would I change? Let's just ask ChatGPT to create a simple Laravel CRUD. So generate Laravel CRUD for model post. Just like that. We hit enter and we wait what it would reply. Currently, by the way, they say it is high demand, so they introduced the pricing as well. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's just read what it says. So example of creating a new post with assigning all the values. That's interesting. Okay, so it doesn't generate any controller specifically, just okay, just lists the code and then, okay, it is fine. So full CRUD and then let's ask it to add controllers and form requests for validation. Now add controllers and form requests for validation. Would it understand that it needs to add that to the previous code? And while we wait, I will mention that they released the pricing for ChatGPT specifically. It's not free anymore. It is free for like testing and sometimes maybe not available for high demand, but general price is $42 per month. So that is pretty high for just if you want to just play around. Now let's see what it generates for the controllers. So yeah, it generated the controller. Now, okay, in the post controller, you may define the functions, which it will define, for example, store, so it doesn't show the full controller, but it shows the store method. Okay, cool. It redirects route with success. Cool, that is great. And then create form request class for the validation, and it is already used in the controller above, as you can see. Rules. I've mentioned just the post model. I didn't specify, by the way, the fields, the title and the body. So it generates the title and the body rules just as general rules from other probably CRUDs from online. And then, okay, registering form request class in the controller method, which happened already, see here. So what do you think? I would say, wow, probably the downside that it didn't generate the full CRUD as I was expecting, just generated the store method and also what I would change is not assign every field but instead do request validated so that could be shortened but it works it's a working example also my personal preference is to have store post request and update post request separate form request classes sometimes the validation rules are the same but not all the times but that's also my personal preference what else? If we scroll down, make request, that's all cool. I guess that's it. From the code that it did generate, I don't have anything to add. It's all good. Great. It didn't generate the routes. It didn't generate the resources views, although I didn't ask to be honest. But generally, my first kind of impression or conclusion, you would say, it does do a great job if instructed properly. Online, in other people's examples and in my own testing, I've seen various rates of accuracy. Sometimes it uses a bit older code, not from the latest Laravel version. Sometimes it generates different results based on different day. So you may see totally different results from someone else's trying on the same phrase, basically. So it's all a bit unstable and unpredictable, but if you know what you're doing, you can use ChatGPT or OpenAI in general to generate some of your code, then copy it and use it. It may save you some time, but the question, is it worth $42 per month? Is it a convenient helper? Not sure. Let's actually discuss it all in the comments based on this Simple example, have you used ChatGPT or OpenAI to generate some code? What are your examples and what are your impressions? Is it worth the money? Is it accurate enough? And how capable it is to potentially maybe replace our jobs, as they say. My personal opinion, that our jobs are pretty safe as long as we're cool with adapting to new markets and new technologies as we should always. So with all the new inertia live wire, splayed or whatever you need to adapt the same will be with ai things the tasks of developer would just change to maybe instruct the ai maybe debug the ai and stuff like that but our jobs should be pretty safe 
What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. And see you guys in other videos.